Hello YouTube, this is Jesse C. Mars again. Welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2! I know it's been, seems like it's been a while since I've done a video on this. I got a really positive comment on the last one. Thank you, Eugene. So, we're gonna, oops, sorry. We're gonna do another video! E experimenting in space. I really love doing this. I really do. Because I love space. I've always loved space. So, the two experiments we're gonna do today is the first one is the sun going supernova in the solar system. Now there actually is a simulation existing that could just open up. And yeah, but but we don't need to use that because if I go to power and explode, I could just do that and it's simple as that. But anyways, that's beside the point. And the second experiment is what if the Earth was a star and the way we're going to accomplish this is transform earth into a star by basically making the whole thing hydrogen and just adding it until it gets big enough so that's what we're going to do today so we're going to start in this simulation um i just want to make a new simulation for both of these um or not actually just open the solar system and pause it so i could save this save this and i and i want to call this Sun as Sun going supernova YouTube video. Excuse me. Save there. Um, it's pause, but yeah. We're going to go slow this down because when the sun goes supernova, like, like, the, like the whole thing expands really fast. So, powers explode and. Well, it doesn't look like much, but you can see it. You can just see it. You can see it expanding like that, like already. You can see it expanding. Now, what's going to happen is all the planets in the end will be roasted. I, I literally mean roasted. They're going to be burned. Not too fast. Now, the main, um, you know, wonder is Earth about this. Well, slow that down. That is going way too fast for Earth. So, Mercury will be the first to go. And then Venus, um, I seriously wonder why there's a shadow on this side when there's a light. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But, yeah. I don't think the North Pole looks like that. I really don't think it does. I'm pretty sure all that, there's just not a whole ice cap on there. Anyways, um, is that climate on? Because it... Good, climate needs to be on, because it looks realistic that way. Now, Mercury, as you can see, is now roasted. Um, slow this down. Venus is there. Venus is still melting. Mercury is... It's basically a star now. As you can see, it's really hot. Can you actually see this in Kelvin? Temperature. What is this in Kelvin? That's how it is in Kelvin. Are you sure? I don't know if that's correct. Anyways. Venus is the next go. Uh, Mercury... We know did that first because it's closer. And Earth is next to go. Venus hasn't lost any mass yet, but it's probably about to start doing that. Earth, I want to slow this down though, because you can see the effects start. Um, I did this last time, but I kept it at a slow speed and it took a while. So, oh, yeah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Now Earth is the next to go, but you'll see that the temperature just went from. 800 degrees Celsius to over 14,000 degrees Celsius and like that quickly yeah so there's a lot of I, I don't know if it's heat or radiation but yeah earth is the next to go and mercury is still a star basically I see because of its temperature now when these planets start burning up they lose they'll lose a lot of mass and now earth is the next to go and it should happen any minute now where earth starts to you know, really heat up. Now Venus is cooling down for some odd reason. Venus is cooling down. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it started. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. It's happening. So Earth basically from the mass of one Earth to about 81 on the moon in that matter of time. And it's still losing mass. Yeah, Venus' temperature is going skyrocketing now. Earth is losing a lot of mass. Can we actually see it shrinking? I guess not. I guess it's not going fast enough. But yeah, as you can see, Earth is heating up it's a lot, but it's also losing a lot of its mass. You can see, it's it will soon be the size of the moon. 
thing is, you can see it. You can see it shrinking there. Pluto is, will be one of the last to go. So let's just pause that to, to give you at other planets. Like, let's see where Mars is. Mars has not been roasted for some reason. That one, that one's being roasted right now. Jupiter hasn't even started heating up yet, so Mars for some reason is hasn't gone that hot. But all this, this is, um, all this around Earth is like stuff from it. Look, it. Now nah, I'll pause it once it gets there. Almost, almost. Earth is a star, but Earth is about the size of the moon. It's actually a bit smaller, but it's close enough. Mars is not being roasted? How? Jupiter is warming up a bit, but Mars is, well, it's that hot, but it hasn't, you know, been roasted yet. Earth is so hot, it's basically a star, and I can't even see that there, but yeah, all this is from Earth. All oh, and Earth is gone. You, you you can't even see it. I mean, you can see it there, but it doesn't look like anything. Now Mars looks, now Mars is being roasted. That's what that big oh well, it's only slowly getting roasted. It hasn't it hasn't gone to skyrocket temperature just yet. Um, these two already have. Well, that one's gone. Mars is about to be roasted. Actually, yeah, it's slowly losing mass already, but. And where's Jupiter? Where are you? Yeah, now Jupiter is heating up. <sighs> Mars hasn't gotten roasted just yet. I'm saying roasted, meaning like it gets stripped of the atmosphere. Earth is that. Venus is that. Mercury is that. And Jupiter is now getting increasingly hot very quickly. Now this temperature is going down and up. Hang on a second. Mars is 8.15 of the moon. I think this is, is that his normal mass? No, it, it has lost a lot of bit of the mass, but a little bit. Wait, what? Are, okay, Mars. Yeah, there. So, Jupiter's mass normally is. Oh, it hasn't lost any mass yet. Well, it's about to start losing some mass. Mars still isn't being roasted yet. Like, its atmosphere isn't being stripped from it. It's just slowly losing mass. Let's just speed this up. Because, no, whoops, wrong way. Speed this up so it goes faster. Now Mars is being stripped. It's outer layers. Shouldn't be cooling down. This shouldn't be happening. Well, yeah, now Mars should be getting stripped. Jupiter is next to go. Jupiter's actually really hot already. So that it's, it's, it's Jupiter's melting. It's about to start melting. It don't look like much right now, but it's about to start melting. I mean, look at that. Now it's 5,000. It should be should start to melt any second now. It should begin to melt. I'm surprised gas can melt. Like I didn't think that was a thing. See this up so you can see the effects faster. There, look at that. Now this should be losing mass. Well, it's not the. Well, it's really hot. Um, it's not rapidly losing mass. Oh, Pluto's roasted. Everything is roasted now. Everything is becoming. Everything is either about to be. This thing is. Yeah, everything's roasted now. Nothing is normal now. Nothing is. Wherever Earth is, where's the label? I don't think it's... Has it disappeared? No. There's Mars and Venus. Where's Earth at? Where's the Earth's label? Where are you? Earth, where are you? I can't see you anywhere. Are you in the blinding light? Because I can't see it. I can see Mars and there's Venus, but where's Earth? Is Earth on the opposite side? Cause you know these planets are going out in a single line now because the sun's gone. There's nothing keeping them. There's nothing keeping them um, gravitationally in their orbit, so they're just going off to the distance. Sure, we'll see Earth. Oh my God, this thing is. Oh, it's over there. That's the center of it. But where's Earth? Did Earth disappear? You can't tell me that Mars and Venus survived, but Earth doesn't. You can't tell me that. Cause that's a bunch of poop. That's a bunch of bull. Where 
where is Earth? Did Earth disappear? You can't tell me that Mars and Venus survived. Well, Mercury... Okay, it looks like Earth got destroyed. I actually had a recording this earlier, but it wasn't good quality. So apparently the Earth decided to disappear this time. Alright. Well, that's the first experiment done. Um, save. Sun going supernova. I mean, it pro it'll probably say this one already existing. I'll overwrite it. Or not, maybe. Now we should just check to make sure it's actually in my simulation section. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now let's just open this regular solar system. And let's actually save this. We're gonna call this one. Save. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call this one. Earth as a star. And again, put a YouTube video on it because it's for you guys. There we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is slow this down so it doesn't like go super fast. Earth's still going pretty fast though, so let's slow this down even more. So the first thing we're gonna do is make everything hydrogen. You're gonna notice as as it very quickly becomes a gas giant, well, a gas planet, and even more. And for some reason, its atmosphere is being stripped. I don't know why. Anyway, material. So to all just off. We're gonna make this one mass of the moon and spread it and that's particles per second let's just do that and see how much whoa what is that oh my that's what that looks like i mean it looks cool but that was a lot from that point of view let's see how much bigger if it even does much let's see and yeah see it did something so let's fire even more and watch this thing as it starts to grow from all this hydrogen there there see we could do one match the earth Probably be better. Yeah. Yeah, let's speed this up. Let's put Earth. Let's put one mass. It's actually not gr done growing. It's still growing. That's how much I want it to grow. Okay, slow that down now. Okay. Now let's fire everything here that is one mass of the Earth here. One mass of the Earth coming to it. A little bit faster. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now it's going to this Jupiter scale. This won't do too much because it's Jupiter scale now, but I don't want to. Okay, there. Up. Okay, that was unnecessary. Anyways, now time for Jupiter scale. This will become a star faster this way. Now this video is going to take too long. Again, just like the previous failed recording. Oh! Okay, then it's a star. Right, pause it. Look at that. It's one point. What's up the mass of the sun? How hot is it? That's hot. Let's call this Star Earth. This is big. Is it harder than the sun? It is actually harder than the sun, but it looks identical. Can I can I increase the temperature of this? Yeah. Oh, I can make it. Oh, let's put this at 10,000 Kelvin. Oh, yeah. It's a blue star now. Look at that. Earth is a blue star now. That's cool. That's cool, right? Earth is a star now. It's blue. Actually, let me actually star Earth and then put this as blue. Because it's a blue star. And things should start getting messed up in a bit. Like. Uh, so now the sun heads towards this and Mars looks like it sort of. No, it didn't get ejected. It didn't. Now, see. Now you can see the two stars are in a. Uh, not stable orbit, but they are opening each other, and then it, it's not stable. So you can see they're gonna circle back, come toward each other again, like this. Whoa, lag there. See? So now the solar system is a binary system. If you didn't know, most solar systems have two stars. So now our solar system is like the most of them, it has two stars. Excuse me. Oh! Okay, so, so somehow Venus and Saturn. Did not get sucked in. They actually just, they actually just got ejected. They just got ejected. Mercury looks like it got ejected. The only thing that's still orbiting is still the sun, and that's it. No nothing, nothing is stayed attached to it, really. Well, Jupiter looks like it's coming back in, but it's probably my, my. Oh my God, Jupiter is going all over the place. Jupiter, relax. Oh my God. Yeah, you see, these two are orbiting each other like that. 
The only thing, the only planet that seems to be still with it is Jupiter, but, oh, now it's ejected. Right now, now these two stars are alone. The Earth and the Sun star are alone. Because all the other planets were ejected. For some other reason. So, that's what happens. So, there's the end of the video. So, this whole thing is getting going to go in all directions. That's pretty cool. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video on University Unbox 2, Episode 4. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, again, like I said at the start, I got a very positive comment on the last episode of this. Thank you, Eugene, again. And if you guys want to if you guys want to see more of this, which I definitely would love to do more experiments in this game, please leave a like or post a comment. Have a great day, and I will see all of you on the flip side. Peace out.